Let's have a look at a normal sequence for routine cockpit access. I'm a bit thirsty. I think I'll call Sally for a glass of water. Do you want something to drink? Yeah, why not? Why don't you ask her to bring a bottle of water with two glasses? Hello, Sally. Could you bring us a bottle of water and two glasses, yes. please? No problem. I bring it. After a few minutes, the purser comes back and needs to access the cockpit. So the purser calls the captain on the interphone. Hello? Captain, here's your water. Okay, fine. Then goes to the code pad and presses the hash key. In the cockpit, the buzzer sounds for three seconds. The captain pulls the toggle switch and maintains it in the unlock position. The green light on the code pad comes on, access is allowed. The amber open light comes on when the door is opened. Thank you. Now let's see how the system works when the crew needs to lock the cockpit access door. First, when the door is closed, its normal state is locked. But what happens when the purser does not apply the normal procedure for requesting cockpit access? I don't think this is the normal procedure. I prefer to lock the door. Do you agree? Yeah, I do. It's a bit suspicious. The captain moves the toggle switch to the lock position. The open light remains extinguished. Now, if we look at the code pad, the red LED is lit, confirming the door is locked. Be careful. Automatic door opening, the code pad and the buzzer are inhibited for five minutes. The purser realizes that cockpit access is inhibited and has to use the interphone to contact the cockpit crew. Yes? Sorry, Captain. I have forgotten the cockpit access procedure. I just wanted to see if everything was OK. No problem, Sally. I'll open the door. The door can be opened by moving the switch to unlock position, which overrides the previous lock situation. I'm sorry, everything is okay? Yes, all right. This example shows how to proceed in the case of crew incapacitation. The purser calls the captain through the interphone. Captain, it's Sally. But there's no answer from the captain. So the purser tries another way of contacting the cockpit crew, requesting entry by pressing the hash key on the code pad. The buzzer sounds for three seconds in the cockpit, but still no reaction from the cockpit crew's side. So the purser tries another call on the interphone. Captain? Captain? Do you read me? It's Sally. Obtaining no response, she decides to use the emergency access procedure. On the code pad, she enters the emergency code, then presses the hash key. This triggers the timer for 30 seconds. The green LED on the code pad flashes, indicating imminent unlocking. In the cockpit, the buzzer sounds continuously and the open light flashes, also indicating imminent unlocking. When the elapsed time is over, with no action from the cockpit crew, the door goes into unlocking sequence for five seconds. The green LED on the code pad remains steady. The open light comes on for five seconds during the unlocking sequence and the buzzer stops, indicating the door is unlocked. The purser now has five seconds to enter the cockpit. <laughs>